Evening, getting back into it, Elder Scrolls even more. Oh, oh. doing more side quests in Northern Elsewhere. So cute. Little pickles. Okay. Yep. In the right area. Ah, oh, shit. Just wearing like a little big robe. Do you hear about this one, Cynthia? Has she been found? Yes, of course. Cynthia was taken in the dead of night. This one has received no ransom, yet he fears the worst. She is a very beautiful Jakajit, you see. Ishu believes that the captors may mean to sell her. Cynthia has a long, glossy coat, soft as the richest of silks. Her eyes are bright yellow, like the honeyed moons. Ah, oh, and she always... No suspects, no, but someone who may have spotted something? Hmm. The wood elf's name is... Mel. To help find this one's... Mel arrived in Riverhold a few seasons ago. Makes a... Mel does not have a home in the traditional sense, so mm. you will often find her sleep. Zinfia is a willful child. A tad spoiled... Thank you. Now, isn't he a, a, a child or a, uh, I mean, a kid or a um, house cat? Either way, I'll help. At last, Queen Camira wears the crown. This one is exciting, yes, though perhaps not quite as obviously so as you are. As it stands. Well, what do you know, a customer? Salutations. Mel the musical at your cell. Ishu, the Khajiit with all the cats? That old coot is sweet as honey jaga, but a bit off if you ask me. Shame about his daughter, though. No one should have to go through. If you're looking for trouble, Tajiri's your girl. I've seen her with all sorts of indecent folk lately. Always shifty eyes on those ones, I tell you. 
She tends to spend a lot of time behind the stables lately, if you catch my drift. Right. Very good then. And Don't actual you're daughter. Looking for some entertainment for your next soiree? Make sure to seek me out. You won't regret it. She's a gambler with a lot of friends in a lot right, of places. Right, there you go. And you know, who am I to judge? Business is business, after all. Suspicious activity. Not a house cat, that's for sure. It's an actual Khajiit. I mean, fuck, look at that dude, he's a fucking beast. Like, there's no way you get hit by him, he'd be fucking dead. And by beast, I don't mean it a dogger each time, I mean like the dude's fucking huge. Fuck, I would not envy the, that mother. Okay, I can't search that side. Ah, here we go. Sounds like they're up to trouble. Find anything of interest. There's this dapper dude as well. Oh, the stables, hmm? Developed a sudden interest in horsemanship, Walker? Oh, looks to be a coat. A napping badger, eh? Sounds familiar. Ah, yes. The sleeping badger is a rock formation, just south of Riverholt. But this it's weird saying that Khajiit so formal, but it suits him. Music doesn't understand. Music will mark it on your map, Walker. Feel free to lead the way. And perhaps this is a good time to mention that this one is not so skilled in uh, violent situations, uh, should trouble find us. But that oh. is where your expertise comes in handy, yes? Mm -hmm. Oh, Jesus. I mean, it's still very interesting. Yeah, probably would have too much dev time. I mean, really, people would be willing to wait if they allowed it. But no, the upper manager just has to get out the game quick so they can make as much money as possible. Even though half the time they should have been in beta for longer. Like that giant dude? That's a Khajiit Barbarian for sure. Talking about um, D and D classes. Skuma, these vagrants must cling a bit. Music needs to stop doing that. Must belong to Zinthia. Come, 
Let us speak away from this place. Hold up. The dragon for a second. Oh, a missing daughter? A hidden note? And now a band of skooma smugglers? This one is unsure, though it is possible Ishu may be hiding something. Still, our if Tajiri is a gambler, it is likely we can fight. If she owes some debts to some scuba dealers, probably not ideal. Yeah. May not probably. That's definitely not ideal. I've probably got a book that talks about the different parts of Khajiit. I've probably read one already. You and I need to speak now. I must admit, you and Thunderboots make quite a charming pair. And watching you both play at being investigator, why it's been sleek. Take it as a friendly warning. I hear that you seek Ishu's daughter, yes? I find that then Ishu has become senile in his old age. I speak truthfully. He had one daughter, and she is gone. That's the daughter, right? Hey, you came. Did the ruddy thing? This means I didn't really. I'm going to make a small memorial shrine over my heart. Right, she had a dead husband. Right, what is he like? That's the case of eight. Like, what the actual fuck? Like, you're not gonna fuck with him. us today walker tajiri has just settled down for a round of gambling while music distracts her you can sneak into her home and search for another clue it's hmm. forgive this one if he's skeptical even if then perhaps this stranger simply wishes to confuse us throw us off the scent <laughs> besides we cannot stop now not when an innocent young lady may still be at risk. Let us investigate Tajiri before she retires. Why, hello, sweet meat. Care to play a game with old Tajiri? <laughs> of course, <laughs> though this one will admit he is not very skillful. Is that a different Tajiri? Right. 
try to talk. We need more groceries for the house. There's barely anything to eat. And would it kill you to tidy up our room once in a while? The upstairs is a mess. Off the balcony. Oh, <laughs> not really an escape. This one hopes you have found something of interest, Walker. Music cannot afford to keep Tajiri distracted any longer, and he means that most literally. Blue servants. <laughs> For oh. Party paint? <laughs> he paid. If music had to guess, this poem describes drop off locations for illicit goods. Smugglers often hide them in plain sight. First a sleeping badger, now a blue serpent. That's it. The river is often busy with trade. A perfect place to smuggle goods. Let us search along the river and see if we find any barrels or crates with markings. Hopefully, we'll find something that will lead us to Zinthia. Didn't see us, I said. Music will admit this case is heading in a rather uh, unexpected direction, which is a bit worrisome. It is strange, isn't it? With an operation as intricate as this, it seems odd that these smugglers would target a Khajiit of such limited wealth. This one agrees, but let us first check. Sees a painted mark ahead. Somerset wine, eh? Not illegal, oh. but incredibly taxed. Mm. Music has a feeling this bottle didn't find its way to Riverhold through virtuous means. Yes, I like likely to avoid taxes. Nor me. Oh. I'm gonna go dragon frogs here. Look those little guys. Scarf. scarf for smugglers to wear, yes? Perhaps it belongs to Zinthia. That mark has four points, like the note says. This barrel smells sweet, but also rotten. What could it be? Dark moons. They're smuggling spoiled moon sugar. Very unsafe for anyone to eat. Speak to Ishu and see what he knows of these smugglers. Then let us meet back at the tavern. We have much to discuss. Yeah. 
Is this the mansion I've sold the other week? I think it was. It's not for sale. Yeah. Probably want to sell the other week. The only big expenses I've got left really are, um, not sort of banks, but bank space, which won't have much, won't be for much longer, and houses, so, good. Yes, any news of this? Smuggler camps? Dark moons? Yes, the necklace and scarf belong to Cynthia. Have they? Have the smugglers sold her? By John and Joe, please say it isn't so. No, of course not. Ishu has only lived a good, honest life. Please, you must find this one's Jakajit. She is so young and innocent and probably terrified without her papa. Whatever will Ishu do if his Cynthia is hot? May bright moons... Oh, really? <laughs> well, Ishu supposes his family has grown over the years. But how could this one not seek their companionship? Their little faces? But of course! Mostly. Uh, she and Medwick don't always get along. But Medwick is older and doesn't always like to play or be teased. And just between us. A little small, the house for that many cats, surely. You, did I not? First time was a warning. Now it is a threat. You both leave town. That again? I told you Ishu's daughter left Riverhold years ago. He's just a delusional old Khajiit caught up in a fight. Who I am does not matter. What I can do to you, on the other hand, should be of immediate concern. Pretty sure that's the daughter. So it appears that yours. Let us just say that her reputation precedes her. Well, threats to our. We are investigators, are we not? <laughs> you must search for a trail. With any luck, she'll lead you straight to Ishu's daughter. Meanwhile, Mrs. Mizi... Yeah, I keep getting recipes that I've already got. We must follow the jelly trail. Quick. Yes. Oh, they. Those were fresh sugar claws. I didn't even see who ran into me. There. Rideza must have stepped on the jelly from the sugar claws. You must follow her trail while this one alerts the guards. Yeah. 
you say anything? Not surprisingly, the Alfig are often disrespected outside of elsewhere. Here, everyone knows we are just as clever as any other Khajiit. But outside of these lands? Well, there is a reason the Alfig do not travel. Not... Dude, I'm not paying attention to the answer. I'm just, like, thinking out loud. Sorry. Oh, oh, sounded ruder than it was supposed to. Out loud, trying to check more viewers, get that money, get more followers. Jealous to go so far oh. to steal your father's pet. Right, was in Fiesta House Cat. I think. Well, it seems that our investigation has come to a successful Oh, never mind. Close. Though not quite in a way that Misik was expecting. Radiza thought we were trying to find her, but we're actually trying to find the cat in the cage. In hindsight, it makes sense. When you were told that Ishu's daughter left town years ago, Radiza must have been speaking of herself. Still, to have been chasing Ishu's pet this whole time. This is true. Because of our dedication, Riverhold no longer has to deal with these vile smugglers. Ugh. And let us hope it stays that way, yes? I just ripped my print off its face. Our reward. Why don't we meet at the banished regrets? Well, that was three hours wasted. Are on music. <laughs> just as soon as he is paid, of course.
family reunited, a smuggling ring destroyed, and the gratitude of all of Riverhold. <laughs> Not a bad start to a partnership, yes? Mizik was even able to secure a hefty bonus, thanks to the generosity of Captain Kahiri. Of course, of course. Your share as promised. After all, Music would never have been able to solve this investigation without your aid. Pleasure working with you, Walker. Do not be a stranger, yes? A safe town, a happy client, and an investigation expertly solved. And a five-claw partnership, if Music does say so himself. <laughs> what more could this one ask for? Fuck. And I snapped the knife as well. After such a successful investigation, music is hopeful that That's not my mind, is it? Come forth. We live in turbulent times, Walker. Dragons, tyrants, necromancy. There is no end to elsewhere suffering as of late. And yet so much is overlooked. Those in power have priorities, and the petty problems of the common folk? They tend to be on the very bottom of this list. That is why we must look after each other. Oh, shit. If Mizik does not offer his help, who will? <laughs> My print bed just came off. Okay, well, looks like I have to get a new print bed too. Fuck! Of course. But first and foremost, it is Mizik's passion. That is why this one takes the name Thunderboots. If he cannot work in the name of justice, then he will not work. Mizik's investigations oh, take many off now. places, so it is hard to call one town home. But he's enjoyed his At least now I've got an excuse to get a glass bed. He has a comfortable tavern room and a steady supply of clients. Well, a steadier supply of clients. Uh, honestly, uh, just the one. Uh, a bard's flute was stolen. Quickly. It turned out to be the innkeeper who stole the flute. This bard could not play in two. After such... Congratulations on finding the finest cloth merchant in all of Riv- Ah, Pagara was wondering how much longer she would need to keep this stinking thing in her shop. Pagara doesn't know what's inside, but it smells like hot horse cheeks. Your friend Rigger told you about the delivery fee? The courier who brought Rigger's rotten package was promised payment upon delivery. Pagara assumed someone would- you can see the courier's invoice for yourself. The Dara wouldn't want you to think you are being cheap. Thank you, friend. 69 coins. Nice. Um, so who cares? Alright, big of a deal.
my helpful friend. Rigert is pleased to see you return from the desert with your limbs intact. Did you find a misplaced package in Riverhold? Ah, Rigert forgot about the fee. You will find this shocking, but Rigert forgets many things. Especially on the days he drinks mead. <laughs> Which is all of the day. Cannon Reeve Juzdo of Alabaster. I am Rigert of Windhelm. On behalf of the Skald King, I present you with a gift of peace what from the it? Nords to bring our cultures closer. Is your gift rancid cabbage? Because it smells like rancid cabbage. Not at all! Rigert brought our finest snowy saber cat coats. Although they may have been stored near cabbage. And the cabbage may have gone bad. Your gift is clothes made from slaughtered cats? This isn't a peace offering, it is a war crime. These are the finest coats in all of Windhelm. Who wouldn't want to be wrapped in our warm and luscious cat skins? Tell your skull king that if he wants our war to continue, Queen I read will be happy to oblige. Rigor's message will be heard by Queen I read, the leader of the Altair Dominion. God, that's embarrassing. I don't think I realize that the Skull King's trying to get him killed. Shit. Those fucking beds. Okay, I got a feeling his mum's not very nice. Ah, you must have been drawn by the scent of my rising doll. And don't be shy about staring at Rig. Nonsense! Rigard's belly doesn't care if meat or meat is swallowed first. So why should a mixing bowl be any different, huh? 
Rigert has gone far in life by treating every situation like he treats his belly. I saw Asaldak, the famous Khajiit sweet maker by the Maryvale Farms Fountain. Ask him to come. Mate, that's not how recipes work, but fine. Asaldak, Asaldak was once invited to Skyrim to try their so-called delicacies, but declined due to a disdain for cold weather. This Nord better be calm. Rigard's sweet bread turned out better than expected. Everything should be tough. Our teeth can't grow stronger if we don't challenge them with unyielding treats. <laughs> when Rigard was a baby, his mother had him suck on rocks to comfort his sore gums. Now his bite is... It's an honor to meet you, Asaldak. On behalf of Jorin Skald King, Please enjoy Windhelm's famous sweet bread. Did you bring the bread with you from Skyrim? It's hard as a rock. Harder than a rock. <laughs> Rigert made some improvisations to the original recipe. Hmm, it doesn't smell too wretched. Asseldak will attempt to take a bite without breaking a tooth. What do you think? Impressive? Delicious? Ferocious? <laughs> Atrocious. Bison filled with flowers. Why are the flowers covered in <laughs> I had a feeling that <laughs> farm hand needs me to get rid of lions. The farm looks like it's full of them. Could you please stop stomping around like that? My head is... Rachin sugar cakes. Our manager, Bakargo, tried to warn us about them, but what kind of... Ah, Rigert. 
The last time I felt this bad was when I tried to beat him in a mead drinking contest. We don't want to let him down. He needs someone to play, but that someone doesn't need to be the screaming mammoths. Welcome back, friend. Rigort found Lady Isa. She's not as talkative as the women. The screaming mammoths let you touch their instruments? Rigort tried to touch them after a performance in Nibelheim, and his brain still aches from the pummeling. Rigort can be an official scream. Rigort's mind. Shine like glowing mushrooms in gloom rage. And your sturdy as a mountain goat's hoof and feet. We oh. need to drink meat and eat wolf meat. Why are you singing to my house cat, Luna? Lady Issa? <laughs> Rigert has a logical explanation. You have great influence with the Khajiit, so... Rigard wanted to impress you with his song. But first, he had to practice on your cat. Because he's like a tiny you. It's difficult to imagine anything sadder than a confused Nord clutching a lute. Lady Isa is going to pretend that Ambassador Rigard did not just confuse her with a house cat. Your friend is the one who should apologize. His attempts at diplomacy have already offended Jews to and sickened Al Saldak. Fortunately for you, Lady. Hmm. Rigert must be rewarded for his comical yet well intentioned mission to improve relations between the Nords and Kajit. <laughs> Lady Isa. No, but we can all see that Ambassador Rigert is very special. Lady Isa. A collar and bell made to. This song is dedicated to Rigard's favorite diplomatic assistant. And Lady Isa. And that house cap. And increased peace between the Nords and Kashi. Oh, yeah. okay. I'm getting out of here before I can be cringe any harder. Yeah, he can. That's why I left. I'm sure he can.
Gotta be white shrine on that word that I'm missing. Want to share lore about Alkosh, the Dragon King of Cats? Hey, he. It's the white shrine that I was mixing. Is that the only one in this area? Yes, it is. So. Hold on, I'll look my phone in the other room. Adoras is at the end and of his rope, water up as well. by the scruff. Wrong button. Ja, spare a kindly. This one returns from warning the speaker of the main of a dire prophecy, only to find his fellow priests speaking little sense and doing even less. She tells the priests to burn their moon sugar, so they do. She tells them to smear cheese upon the walls, so they do. She tells them to douse the temple fires with their tongues, so they do. Bright moons shine. I last saw him run after the beasts into the... Since she... She forced... They don't... A powerful and...
looted at Mother's farm. You saw Roxargo's flyers, yeah? We need more farm hands. You see, hmm. You ask a lot of questions, yes? Mother just told me to stand here and find more farm hands. So I did. You have questions? Talk to Mother at our farm. The farm is just up the road north of here. And don't worry if Mother. The farm hands left. This one does not know why. Mother was very upset, so Raxargo offered to hang the flyers. Hmm, this one remembers that Verani was very unhappy. Kept talking about wanting to leave, but she is the only one, he thinks. If Verani does not return, Raxargo gets to keep her hand near her. So he has... Yes, it is a moon sugar farm. Very big, very big. Oh yes, Mother was... Did you hear that Razandar is back in town? Oh, it's been years since Majadi saw him. Mm. <laughs> it's like Razandar's a bit of a player. But she hasn't time for visitors today. Best to... It is true. Workers were happy and plentiful. But now... Moons be praised if half our workforce remains. Hmm, you look clever. Perhaps you could investigate our missing farmhands? Mizum, owner of Fragrant Moons Plantation, sought to buy our farm after the last harvest. This one refused. Kidea suspects he not. Oh, stupid. I just bugged my phone in sort of a charge, but. Frickin' Windows. So kind of you to offer. But take Kidea's eldest son with you, yes? He returned home recently from Moon's Nowhere, and now he lies about like a slug. Find the lazy Khajiit in the cave up the hill, just north of the farm. It's about time Kidea's layabout son helped around here. He may be clever, yes, but when it comes to farm work, you would never believe he was born and raised in Maryvale. At least Roxargo has the decency to help his poor mother. He's the oldest farmer in this valley. Been growing cane since this one was a kitten, and Kidea is now uh, not as young as she once was. But make no mistake, Mizum's mind remains as sharp as a serpent's fang. It is possible. No workers means no crops, no profits. Who benefits from this? Mezum, who has wanted to buy Sweetwater for many years. No. Accusing Mezum with no proof would only give him an opportunity to smear Kidea's name. Bad for business. That is why she sends you to find evidence. Only then can she confront Mezum. Yes, he hasn't lifted a paw around the farm since he came home. He's a traveler, he tells me. But where does he go? What does he do? All he says is that he cannot say. Just like his father, that one. For better and worse. Kidea loves her little rascal, of course. But why can't he stay at home and help around the farm? As the eldest, this farm should go to him when this one... Oh, no, 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 no. Apologies. Kidea did not mean to bring up such matters.
Sorry, I was a little distracted. I was trying to Google replacement print beds. <laughs> what? Who is there? This one's head may ache, but that does not mean he cannot defend himself. Wait, what? You're the brother? Five claw? Raz thought he recognized you. The fuck? Moons only know what brings you to this backwater place, but it is always good to see a friend. Uh, Raz would offer you. She would trust Raz with such a task? That does not sound like mother. Unless she just wants to get Raz out of this cave. No, no, don't answer that. Well, anything is better than... Mizum has wanted to get his paws on Sweetwater for years. If Mother can't keep the farm operating, Mizum can buy it and gain control of the valley's moon sugar cane. We need proof. Meet Roz outside the fragrant moon's plantation. At last! Something here that's worthy of Raz's attention. Let's get to the fra- Queen Irene insisted that Raz take a vacation after his last mission. Even the political as usual. Raz wanted to stick around and help clean up after the sea slods and Ah, the lovely land of Gold Coast. And the equally lovely Naryu. If only more assassins had her particular assets. Raz's job would certainly be a lot more. The new man is settling in quite nicely. Unfortunately, travel here in Northern Elsewhere has meant that the speaker hasn't been able to provide as much guidance as he might. Of course! What do you wish? Mizum's farm. You have met Raz's family, yes? Mother has never approved of this one. Raxargo is... Uh, he has been at Mother's side for far too long, tied to her ape. You do realize that Raz's position as an Eye of the Queen is a secret, yes? Mm. Only those who need to know can ever be told the truth. My family? They know that some young High Elf convinced Raz to leave home and go on an adventure. But that was before Irene was Queen. Mother thinks that her eldest son abandoned her to change. I don't want to steal from Rosen though. Two plantations are right across from each other, Jesus. Oh, fuck you. Raz is glad you made it. He was about to proceed without you. Now remember, we need mercenaries, actually. In addition to gates and walls, Mzum hired the Red Hands to patrol his land. Ledgers, documents, contracts, anything that proves that Mzum bribed the farmhands. Or perhaps we will grow lucky and find a journal. Over the years, Raz has discovered that many villains enjoy... One more thing. Try to avoid unnecessary murder, yes? Not that the Red Hands deserve mercy, of course. But any messes you make, Raz will need to clean up. And Raz Lead the way, Five Claw, but be stealthy. It's likely the merc <laughs> mercenary.
force Muzum loses Moonshot. Now his farmers won't work. What nonsense. There is something out there, Mizum. Some sort of beast. Bah! A beast? This one sees no beast. All he sees are lazy Khajiit who make a foolish lie. The farmers of Maryvale are no strangers to beasts. What could have scared Mizum's workers this badly? The dragon, maybe? This creature was attacked by something unnatural. That much is clear. That was a dragon. Maybe a Dwemma construct? So, Moon Sugar disappears from Mizum stores as well. Let's return to Mother's Farm and discuss what we learned. Old Mizum is dealing with missing moon sugar, scared farmhands, and a mysterious beast. A creature prowls the sugarcane fields. Something far deadlier than a terror bird. If this is true, then Raz fears the missing farmhands reside in the belly of this beast. And so will many other. You must visit Honeybree's homestead, another moon sugar farm in the valley. If Raz is right, Jadolfo will be suffering from the same problem as Mizum and Mother. The farmstead is just across the bridge, on the southern side of the valley. In the meantime, Raz will try to convince his family to stay out of the fields. Perhaps they will be reasonable today. That would be a welcome change. Anything that proves this beast exists. Corpses, tracks, strange residue... With luck, Jadolfo will have even seen this creature. Him or one of his three lovely daughters. Ah, Jadolfo's daughters. Raz wonders if they still remember him. <laughs> Does Raz seem like the type to kiss and tell? Well, not while sober, at least. <laughs> hmm. Now that this one thinks about it, Raz admits to succumbing to the folly of youth in his younger days. Though after so many years, this one assumes they have forgotten about such things. It's like maybe you thought wrong. Raz, your mother sends you to find our missing farmhands, and this is where you end up? Our house? We already searched Mizum's plantation. Raz came back to warn you about... Excuses. And this one thought you learned more in your travels than which tavern served the cheapest ale. You better go, Fat Claw. 
This may take some time. Corner Jadathal chased his daughters and a monster. I heard it. Quickly, go on ahead and find Jadolfo. Raz will help our friend. Moons above. Let Jadathal's family be safe. Please, please, Jadathal begs. You must rescue his. Dothal was only able to catch a glimpse of it as he ran. But what he saw. I'm gonna be a crocodile, is it? Have you seen my father, Jadothal? I've been searching for him. Thank them, then I'm... Ah, the beautiful Bungie. It is good to see you alive and well. Us? At last you have returned to me. Oh, I knew you would keep your promise. Ah, yes. Raz <laughs> is keeping his promise, of course. Help me. A monster attacked our farm. My father ran. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I'm happy to hear that. Raz, you're here? Of course. You are safe now, sweet Nura. Raz, we'll get you to safety. <laughs> the two of us behind the mill reminds me of old times, old promises. Uh, let's talk about that later. <laughs> Much later. God, he's the real Barney Stinson then, isn't he? Bit of a man whore. These bees should thank the moons that they found me without my bow. I'd make quick work of them if I had it on hand. Of course, I'll make sure he stays. That's good to hear. I was going to... I've hunted in Maryvale all my life, but never have I seen a creature like this. Large and leathery, with glow. The fragrant Pasheroni. Raz is glad to see you safe. Hello, Raz. I didn't know you were back in Maryvale. Mm, they're already gone. Either a dragon or a um, croc. Very good, look at that. That should distract those farmers for quite a while. Oh, it's a fucking Daedros. Intruder. Quick, Dolor, kill them at once. Well, we've got close with a crocodile at least. knew something was sour in Sweet Maryvale. Well, at least we know what happened to the missing farmhand. Then it is likely this mage must have summoned the dead. Raz was able to question Jadathol while you dealt with our large friend over there. Our neighbor has also lost Moonsugar this season, yet has seen no thieves. Let us return to... There they are! 
Mm-mm. Moons be praised. Thank you both. Because of your help, this one's family is safe. Raz is so pleased to see you and your daughters unharmed. All dream of your daughters. Wait yes, for it. Raz, and all three of us have been talking quite a bit about you. Uh oh. Specifically, how you seem to have made certain <laughs> promises to all of us. Do you remember, Razamdar? Oh, this one. I mean, there are non nefarious purposes for my own sugar. Come back for you soon. This one only has eyes for you. What? Raz, is, is this true? Now, now. Raz can explain everything. Right for it. Wait for it. Okay, I thought you were just gonna run. Ooh, Dwarven Ore. That's new. Normally I'd have to go in a Dwarven Ruin and just recycle stuff. At least that's the case in, in Skyrim. Can't remember what Morrowind was like. Oblivion. Actually, no, there was no Dwemer ruins in Oblivion, so yeah. Let us search for signs of thievery. And if Raz's family decides to poke their snout, Raz sees nothing out of the ordinary. This is where you search for the farmhands? Our cellar? What? Are they hiding in the walls? Oh, hello. Let's look somewhere else. Hmm. That is a rather ornate tapestry for this cellar. Mother, did you hang this? What? No, of course not. Who would Mother be trying to impress? The cellar rats? A secret passage, eh? Raz thought he felt a draft in here. Ah, just as I suspected, these caverns extend below the entire valley. Farmers used them to store tools and equipment before there was a series of cave-ins. Raz was thinking the same thing. Given the size of these caverns, the thieves could have quite a large operation. Well, look who we got here. Intruders. Uh... Why, you certainly have a lot of eyes. And they're different colors, too. <laughs> Fancy that. Would you mind untying me? I'm a smuggler. I'm smuggling. Well, at the moment, I'm tied up, obviously. We're making skooma, see? Boss man! <laughs> he does all sorts of nasty things. Summons Daedra, steals from the kitty farmers, ties me up. You should give him a talking to. He's 
The caves branch here. You should follow the corridor while Raz takes the side passage. We'll meet up farther ahead. Yay. Yeah, just a little bit. You think I left Cyrodiil for a few pieces of gold? We need to double our production. Someone got greedy. Someone saw attention. Attention. Dude's getting greedy and desperate, or both. to put an end to this skooma operation, yes? Quite the investigation, yes? We infiltrated a heavily patrolled farm. Ah, yes. Mother's docile screeching can lull Raz to sleep. Now, this one suspects that Mother would try to cheat you if you ask her for payment. So here. Well, it seems you're good for something at least. Good for something? Raz took down an entire skooma operation for Jode's sake. Razumdar, sir, I have an urgent message for you from Queen Iren. A message for Raz? Ha! Ah, who would waste the paper on him? Raxargo, shush. Queen Iren? Razum, what is he talking about? Raz's next assignment. It seems this one's vacation huh? is over, mother. Already? But you only just arrived. Well... Raz could stay for one last meal before he departs. And letters? Will you write us letters? <laughs> Doesn't Raz always? Hidea did not think Razum would be leaving so soon. But it seems he has important matters to attend. Yes, perhaps. Don't mind me. Seems that duty calls, thank the moon. This may come as a surprise. Let's just say that it involved a certain... Irene certainly wasn't a queen back then. Raxargo never gets letters from tiny elves. Why does brother get to have all of them? <laughs> hey, someone's a little jealous. Maybe someone should get it on the family business. <laughs> well, family business is when should go around to it. Goat. Goat's gonna eat the whole farm.
Um, so, this week, at least just this, most likely this week or, and maybe the week after, I'm only going to be streaming every other day, um, because I've got a shitload of stuff that I've printed that I want to paint, and to give me some, myself some time to do that, I'm going to be just, just streaming every other day, so this week I won't be streaming on Tuesday. I mean, I won't be streaming tomorrow, but I'll be streaming on Tuesday. And then Thursday, Saturday, all this weekends, or I'll be streaming both days, I believe. At least at night. I might not stream during the day. Um, yeah, I'll do that for a bit until I've painted everything. Then we're gonna get a new um, print bed and start printing like nuts again. But yeah. That dude's high as a kite too. someone with their wits still about them too many crazies around here a oh self-respecting person goes around chasing butterflies with a net a you use a hammer i'm a cat i thought that bit was obvious the priest silly you really are clueless aren't you plaything how are you gonna win the game if you can't even find the pieces Am I gonna have to dangle every answer in front of you like cheese stuffed mice hanging by their entrails? Ah, that's more like it. Maybe there's hope for you after all. I can pay the rest. Keep your eye on the prize. Oh no, stop this madness. Why can't you see reason? Seeing is the problem, Adoras. That's why we need it. Maybe we don't need it. This one's claws are sharp. Pop, pop, and we're all saved. No, it uh, must be the fork. <laughs> it's small. It won't work otherwise. Ah, Jal, you are safe. Moons, I pray he does not get any other idea. The moon bishop told them that if they blind themselves, they would remain hid. Ah, not just any fork. A two-tined iron fork smelling ever so slightly of roast beef. Please. This one smells meat wafting on the wind. It is not an odor he would call. You did? What did he... Wait. Park moons. What sort of childish sorcerer drives clergy to... Because they are insane. Only a sugar... Then this one is sure you... This is the game had a decency of not telling me that was pork for once. If 
This one must talk in circles with lunatics much longer heat. <sighs> Gajit gets all goose pimply in the hackles just touching it. Adoras fears things are even worse than he imagined. His fork reeks of mud. The skooma cat. He must be responsible for our moon bishop's strange visions. But how has he spread his madness to the monks? An Alphic? The skooma cat should not be able to cross the lunar lattice. If he walks among us, then Joan and Jod must truly be out of alignment. Please, you go ahead to the temple. Find our moon bishop. Keep her from spreading any more of this madness. Saizenza, bright is the moons and just as beautiful. If there is anyone within two moons at Tenmar who could see truth... Before there were the moons or the world, there were Anur and Fadomai. From their union, all the god cats came, including the one Khajiit known as Shegarath, the crook-tailed cat who shares his madness with sugar-tooths through Skuma. Adoras does not smell the sick sweetness of the drug upon them. Terrible as it is, the fleeting skooma dreams would be preferable to this all-consuming madness. On this side of the light, the lunar lattice formed by John and Jode's light separates Nurni from the other god cats and protects her children from the ones who do us harm. Normally, Shegarath could only send his mad thoughts across through the perverse. This one, it is the least. Oh, I see you met Forky. Been talking to him. Doing what? The purring. I don't know. Just happens at the darndest times. Smelling a bowl of cream, laying eyes on a plump ball of yarn, licking me. Oh, wait. Who's trying? Oh, sure, you've kept a handful all boring and breathing. But we've been having a right riot in the temple. You ever hear cat? Stop. Stop? We're just getting to the best part. I think they're really getting the hang of it. Last one got one good bounce in before he spit like a ripe tomato. <laughs> oh, I think the Moon Bishop's giving it a go. Don't want to miss that. Okay. Last story. Are you missed the show? Show us the way. No, don't do it. Walker, you arrive at the Moon Bishop Sizenza said we must ascend with Kinarthi to escape the dragons. True cats will reach the sands behind the stars by stepping between the two moons. Oh, have faith. Joan and Jode have shone like beacons for the... Best treasure. by the light of the two moons. These are not... Saizenza tried to save them. She sees so much that she is blinded. What is the truth? Yes, I... I need to sit down. Gather my thoughts. Oh, no, you don't. Get your paws off my favorite plaything. Damn it. Oh, look at you, running around like a chicken with its head cut off. Nothing beats a chicken without a noggin. Believe me, I've tried. You came awfully close to spoiling me fun, though. Why? So you can keep hogging all the toys? No, no, no. These are mine. I licked them. How much more marking do I have to do? Alone? Who wants to be alone? Trapped in their own head until all the life and joy of the world leaks out and leaves an ugly grey corpse. The better off in my... Then I whisk you home to my... Come on, plaything! The game's a piece!
don't know what to do with your warning. Why won't you guide me when I need you now more than ever? I must see. Sacred sugar. Uncloud my eyes. Oh, how the moons twinkle in those glassy eyes. You want to stare off into <laughs> space and time? I'll show you the... Wait your turn. Oh, is that cream? <laughs> oh, I could go for some fatty bovine discharge right now. Oh. Bring it to me in a cup. Cats don't have thumbs. Well, most cats. Why don't I have thumbs? Since I made Otar cry over. No! Ha, come back! Saizenza could almost see it. But the dragons came. Saizenza saw it. They will burn her temple. Burn. It feels familiar. Like this one has done this before. Is this the future vision? Or the vision future? She cannot tell anymore. Help! Hey! I just messed that up! Can't leave a good mess unattended for one minute before some. Hero comes to clean it up. Go tidy your own drawers. I have seen it. I have seen the way forward. John and Jod have shown me how we may protect our temple. Bless your eyes, Moon Bishop. What must we do? We must create an anchor beneath two moons to hold our temple between two moons. Apologies, Moon Bishop. This one does not see. They'll see clear enough once the anchor's built. <laughs> The anchor will let you all see as I do. All will become clear soon. Think you're the cream of the croup, eh? Well, you won't be filling my head with daydreams of sweet cow squeezings this time. I lapped up every last drop. Now, what are you gonna do with all that dry tongue? The yarn. So soft and bouncy. Just makes me want to bat it around like a newborn babe. <laughs> No! Wait! Yes! Ah! Keep dangling those luxurious... in the lunar lattice, so our temple might slip between the moon's shadows. Nestle between Joan and Jod, we will surely be... We will tuck it away beneath our temple, to hold us firm through these troubled times. Would you grab I was batting her thoughts into a glorious tango before you came along. Oh, now I'm gonna have to start again.
fuck is that? It's like a dragon without wings. Shadies for true form. Me the whole time. Are you surprised? <laughs> I was surprised. All right. Yeah. So I did. <laughs> but then I thought it'd be more fun to just keep you both. I was half right. You're a little too good as a plaything. It's not fair if you're always. That's the best part of playing games with lunatics. They're always changing the rules. You'd get it if you just let me whack you on the noggin a few hundred times. No? Well, game's over. Off with you now. Look at you, making demands, in my games, in my realm! All right, one last impossible challenge for you then. Oh, that for Spartan. Say my name three times backwards. Now how'd you, but this can't be, I, I don't, normally, that would twist your tongue around to taste the inside of your ears! Or was it my tongue? Ah. <laughs> Farewell, cheese of my dreams. Now, out you go, before Haskill sees the mess you've made. Neither of us wants to hear that. Escape this nightmare! Quickly! Freedom! It was not you, Saizenza. It was the Skuma Cat that brought these misfortunes. Walker, this one remembers you from her dream. Saizenza is to blame. As Moon Bishop, it was Saizenza's duty to protect her temple. But when the time came, she could do nothing without Joan and Joad to show her the way. It is not for her to decide. If Kaji, for the moment, Dragons. So many of them. Erupting from the mouth of the world. Moon sugar. Those who drink. He has always been the skooma cat. Since Father Mai gave him life and purpose, you may call him Sheogarath, and we Shegorath. But the truth is, he is both. He and his litter mates are cats whose coats are what they want us to see. This one only. Why didn't she? She was to be saved. Without even trying, I've got I've got two of the points of interest left.
Did the spirit send you to help Kis... My apologies. Kiseravi hoped you heard the spirit too. The spirit protects Akaviri relics in the tomb of the serpents. She wants Kiseravi to share their secrets with the world. But the two spirit may not be correct. Entity, a goddess perhaps. The one who protects the tomb while wrapping her arms around... Thank you, stranger. Kiseravi hopes you will be the one to pass the spirit test and... Re Years ago, Kajit allowed displaced Akaviri to bury their dead in Kajiti tombs. So many Akaviri were buried here that they renamed it Tomb of the Serpent. Curiosity, arrogance, greed. Kiseravi wanted to unlock the Akaviri's secrets, to use their knowledge and steal their power. Some say their ancestors were eaten by a race of vampiric serpents. Others say they were merely captured. They are said to be resistant to poison and fierce in battle. Some... I never saw her, but I thank you, Strange. Destroy the outsider.
messenger. If you survive, you will know the message. So fast, Walker. Rachin would first have a word with you. So, you have found the first piece of the Rithana di Renata. Impressive. This one is the shadow of Rachin. Well, a shadow of Rachin. There are seven of us, all told. Surely you have heard of Rachin, yes? Else, do you expect a truthful answer? What kind of trickster do you take this one? Of course, Raj. A tricks. This one. Hmm. By the way, if you see Pakruti, tell him he still owes this one a pouch of gold. different outsider. Perhaps you are the one to deliver our message. Perhaps you will die like the rest.
Akaviri Red? Ah, the Akaviri spirit has blessed you. Kisarabi knew that she would meet someone brave enough to enter the tomb, strong enough to pass the spirit's test. The spirit wants Kisarabi to share the Akaviri relics with Tamriel. They possess them for some. Ah, you've returned. Let us speak. Greetings, greetings. If you want to pull my tail, you could at least try a bit harder than that. Really, what would Rajin... Sure, sure. Just let me know if you meet John and Jod next. Our neighbors saw nothing, of course. Oh, you found one of the pieces! I see you've collected a missing piece, Slick. Rajin's shadow? I, I'll be honest, that's a lot to take in. Think that it... Of course! What would you like? Not the way to go.
forgive me. I did. Yes. And no. It's... You seem unaffected. Good. The three stones act in concert, so be sure to place them in a broad... No, not at all. To... The magical art of reanimating and communing with the dead. Most people find its coercive aspects abhorrent. I'm sorry you feel that way, but an experiment. Well, for one thing, perhaps. No, not at all. And something else. here is just suffocating, like a dark fog rising from below, bidding the dead to serve. I sense, yes, some kind of wards infused into the architecture, though weakened by the march of time. Someone tried to prevent this. Ah, there's a concentration of dark energy in the exposed tomb at the center of the star. Meet me there. Huh? <gasps> 
Destroy it quickly. Your pathetic magics are useless here, witch of Azura. Feel why you can. The hour of my return has come. Thank you for acting quickly, friend. The situation of... A focus, like an arcane vessel or container. Think of the stones I gave you earlier. Those contain a sliver of my essence. You destroyed one, yes. And the shade simply taunted us. There must be others. If we're to have any hope of stopping this lich, we'll have to find and destroy all of them. A daunting prospect. They're probably... I admire your optimism. No, nothing so calm. Your kind, it will, it will take, no, nothing. that's within my power, yes. But I, it will amplify. Stand back. Mithralas de l'Anfinal Guaridanere. With him. You... You must... You must listen. Speak with him. Quickly. We do not have much time. This one feels his spirit slipping away. A room called the Ancient Defiler. The Dark Adept. Destroyer of the Hidden Moon. If he regains his full power, death and horror will scour all the sands of elsewhere. The orb. I tried to claim it for myself. It sent me to a realm of nightmares, where a room called Spirit reigns as king. He tore my soul to pieces, then used the remnants to awaken his body, and everything else in this cursed place. He... Ah, ah, ah. No more! Release me, please! Azura, have mercy on him. I'd say he learned his lesson. Well done. I had hoped to glean a bit more, but that name is enough. Arum, whatever the Kajik before. Yes. I'm going to take a moment to make sure we didn't miss anything. A few. We should get back to the task. Well, yes. There are. Th yes. I know. Well, modern Kajiti teachings claim a third moon appears in the sky to usher in the birth of a new main. That would make sense. My lady. Hey. I'm gonna leave it there. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, please like and subscribe. If you're watching on Twitch, please consider following. If you're watching on YouTube, you wanna check out the Twitch stream live. Link will be in the description below, or you can check me out at twitch.tv slash radios96. I'll be back on Tuesday night for some more Elder Scrolls. Till then, see you later. Ooh. See you later.